mic on? Yeah, the mic's on. I don't have any shoes to wear, Ern. <laughs> Nothing matches what I'm wearing. Except for black. And it's still shitty outside. Yeah. I get slushy. No, not really. Oh, dude, I'm tired. But it's cold out. Yeah, no, that's why I got the jacket. What, tangos? Yeah. Fuck it. Takes two to tango. Tango. Takes two to tango at the Wii shop with the tangy. Tango with the tangy. I did a live broadcast this morning with fuck. Oh, did you? I saw you looking like fucking Darth Maul smoking a joint in the office. You look like Darth Maul on the lunch break trying to smoke without getting caught by the sip. Like, yo, I just gotta smoke this joint so I can get my motherfucking dual ended lightsaber. Oh, I wanna watch the trailer later. What? You're not into any of that stuff, what? right? Star Wars? I mean, I, grew, I have Star Wars tattoos. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, no, because the new trailer's out today. That's the big that's thing. Right Did he ID'd me at the desk today. Is it a new girl? Yeah, but I last time I met... Christensen right here? Could be. When I found you, I saw raw. Just now. Blasted as fuck, come on! That dude's a pussy. He is a pussy. Whoa. Yes. Christmas presents! <laughs> How do we get a Christmas present right here? <laughs> Damn. December 15th. I used to really like Star Wars a lot when I was young, but then. There was a time where you used to kind of get made fun of for liking Star Wars, and then it became really cool to like Star Wars when it came back out. So it kind of fucking ruined it a little bit, and then they like redid everything and made it stupid. But that was just yeah. such pop culture. Yeah, now it's just a part of like it's like McDonald's. If you go to a Star Wars restaurant now, it would be like whoa. That's a good idea. Just call George Lucas. Yo, get George on the phone. Somebody on the. Twitter today and in my live stream was like that Cali weed's better. That Cali weed's better. It is. I don't know. You're fucking crazy. Cali weed crushes Colorado weed. Crushes it. Dude, it's too dry out here. You're crazy. Cali weed has like it's not even close, honestly. But I smoked a lot of Cali weed. What people brought you on tour? Yeah. I get my pink sniper gang camouflage shirt today. I can't wait. You really ordered that? Wait, where's my keys? No. Throw upstairs? Are you serious? Yeah. I love all these kids with the Be Kind Show Compassion mm -hmm. hoodies, but they're like mad like streetwear. It's they're all in like the sneakers. Because it's alternative school. I know, I love it. They make them wear those shirts. Oh, I don't like that. Shout out Natty Ribs. Yeah. For the motherfucking loud pack. Was I wearing my seatbelt earlier? Seatbelt's brought to you by marijuana. Belt brought to you by YouTube demonetization because these pussies are gonna demonetize me <laughs> right away. We have weed on the channel. If uh, the rest of the world could just um, catch the fuck up, yeah, seriously. that would be great. <coughs> and I work. Anyone who has a notion that weed makes you lazy and just take a look at these last 287 videos yeah because i was blunted for every one of them 
About now your M's for letting us come through today. Finished our morning stream, our wake and bake, and then we played some games. Yeah. Aaron almost had a heart attack. Yeah. Killed a few people, ran away from a few people, yep. laid down unexpectedly. It's true. You know, just a day in the life. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that joined the Twitch stream today. We'll be back yeah. again tonight That's and tomorrow good. morning. Schedule is actually up now. And yeah. Pretty much it. Now we're headed to Micro Center because we uh, have been smoking in my room, which is not something I really want to do. I don't really want to smoke in my house, so uh, we have to get this like wireless adapter for the camera so that hopefully we can just move it on out. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we... to be continued. Hi, 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 hi. Come here, honey. Come here, honey. Made it back from Micro Center. Bought more computer photography, streaming equipment. Hopefully that works, I'm not gonna fiddle with it right now. So much stuff, bought so much stuff this fucking week, Jesus Christ. I'm actually gonna go through my collection, what's left in the closet basically, and go through my doubles, and go through my house and find all this random equipment I need to return, stuff I need to sell. I just need to get rid of some shit because I have a pretty big apartment and I'm running out of room. Yeah, so maybe tomorrow even I might just start going through stuff to find stuff to get rid of. Uh, computer setup. A lot of people have been asking me to go through all the parts that I've got. I'll do a list. There's a list on Twitch already. Everything that I've got. Pretty nut build. So for all the people that are asking about, uh, you know, if they need all this stuff and whatnot, absolutely no. No, you do not. But. What else is going on? So I've got to get some drawing done today. Uh, we have uh, You Are Your Enemy is restocking. So, well, sort of restocking. We're dropping hoodies and long sleeves. And I think there's some t-shirts that are like the regular t-shirts. There's also another design coming and I have to just kind of finalize. And then I've got to set up a bunch of other stuff. There's still no shoes coming in the mail. Uh, like there's nothing coming out, dude. Like literally the My Adidas is the only thing that has been announced and I'm not gonna make it there. I'm gonna send somebody and there's just not shit. My snowboard boots still haven't shipped. I don't know why, it's kinda scary, but I really, it's a slow month for Adidas. I don't really know what's happening. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep grinding away on Twitch while we wait for shoes. And that's pretty much what's happening. Oh, good boy. <laughs> nope, mine. Good man. What are you growling at? Hmm? What are you growling at? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. What are you doing? What are you doing? You've got chocolate syrup on your head. You a milkshake spilled and it spilled onto the counter and then dripped off the counter and onto your head as you ate it off the floor. Ugh. All right, so, whew, uh, busy day. I got a lot of stuff to actually get prepared for. So I am kind of cutting today short, not really. It's still gonna end up being the same time for me, but uh, I gotta get back on Twitch later. I'm on like a serious grind. Some people don't realize how much time this is gonna take to actually uh, get Twitch popping the way that YouTube Pops. But I'm having a lot of fun doing it and it's been great and everyone who's been supporting has been awesome So shout out to you guys. I'll see you on Twitch later tonight. Let's answer a couple of questions real quick from Yesterday's vlog base this jacket and These pants and the pants I wore yesterday and the jacket I wore yesterday and other colorways that you see basically you're gonna see me wearing for the next three months 
are all Kith Columbia collab from last year. I went crazy on all that stuff. I have them in every color except the pink. I probably should have copped the pink and I probably still could. We pay resale, but I could probably get it. Um, but yeah, this is the Kith Columbia collab, which was the best, best collab. Hopefully they do another collab this year. I've heard rumors of a Kith Patagonia collab, which would be pretty sick. Patagonia makes really, really nice shit. So yesterday's Ultra Boost 2.0 video, there was a couple of uh, comments uh, about shoes that I left out that would have been better choices, which I agree with you, except for the fact that, well, one, I don't own one of these pairs because it never really got an official release, and that's the 2.0 chocolates. So yes, that is a super sick colorway. That is also extremely limited. Pretty sure it only released in Asia. Some people will argue and say that it released in other places. I didn't see any evidence of it. It loaded on adidas.com once, but I never saw it drop. Yeah, so that is definitely a must cop if you can actually get your hands on them. We took a look at them on the channel because Sager got them, but Sager ended up selling them when he needed money for something. He sold them for a bunch, so they're, they're worth a lot of money. These right here, which I agree also is one of my favorite 2.0s, but again, really only saw an Asian release, really hard to find in a you know, well, almost impossible to find out of the 12 and a half. I can't believe that I got them. This is probably one of very few pairs in the world of this size, but they didn't really get like a real release either. And then another pair that people were talking about was the reflective, because everyone knows I love 3M, which looked very similar to the silvers that we showed yesterday. The only reason this didn't make the list, still super sick, I do still love 3M, is that the silver is still more visually striking in the daytime without a flash or anything like that. So this definitely makes my list, or this one just doesn't make the list. Still super sick and essentially the same shoe. And again, the lack of that silver heel. It's funny, this is the shoe that made me want to start the list when I saw it, and then when I made the list, I totally left it out. But this one is super sick, so we're gonna add it to the list because now it's just basically a top seven list. So that is the, I believe it's the shock purple colorway. I totally, totally spaced this one for whatever reason, but yeah, that's another 2.0 that should have been on the list because it is gorgeous. All right, and so today, um, keeping up with, because again, I said earlier, there's really no shoes coming out right now. There's nothing to buy. I don't buy things that I don't like just for the sake of buying them. So, there, you know, yeah, there's, there's nothing to really share with you guys as far as uh, what's coming down the pipeline. Uh, so, or whatever the fuck you want to call it show, uh, the top five, really six, uh, most sought, af sought out is after, sought, sought after, the top five most sought out after, the top five most desired, let's go, the five most desired PK NMDs. Uh, everyone knows I love NMDs, there's a lot of like talk about NMD being dead, there's a new NMD sample that is floating around. Ah, the NMD TS one, my initials. So maybe I do like it. I don't know how I feel about this shoe yet. So the sample's around. It's got these lace, it's got a weird lacing system that's hidden under a big fabric tongue and it's got this crazy taping and it's definitely way different than what they've been doing. So we can't say they haven't, they're not trying, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's hard for me to judge samples all the time because you never know what's actually going to happen. And then you see it on foot, it looks different, different colorways and you know, whatever. Because we're seeing a new NMD model and I do believe that the R1 is going to start being phased out somewhat. Uh, I thought we would talk about the, you know, top five or six ones that people, most people missed out on and a lot of people really, really like. I'd say this is a list of the most sought after, some being really expensive, some being, you know, not too crazy. Number one on the list, probably can guess it. Probably, I'm gonna say the most, well, I guess it depends on your taste. One of the most desired NMDs is the Nice Kicks NMD, San Francisco, Hate and Ashbury inspired, hippie vibe, sick colorway. This one's really great, these run, my size is usually resells around 1200 bucks, 1400 bucks. I've seen them higher, 2000. When I got them, I think I paid around four or 500 bucks, and I thought that was crazy. These shot, shot way up, never coming back out for sure. So even the guy who made this shoe happen doesn't even have pairs. So I would, it's, it's a hard one to get, but definitely super, super sick. Definitely a must cop. Definitely a double up, triple up. 
get as many as you can. The two on the list would be the Key City. Jesus. The Key City NMD. So this one is super nice. This was one of the first ones, if not the first one, which was rumored to be limited to a thousand pairs on release. So it's a really hard one to find. 3M taping, 3M flashes all over this bad mamma jamma. Came with a bag too. So, uh, but yeah, the Key City NMD is a very, very hard one to find. Super rare, very expensive. I got a steal and a half. Good luck. So no friends and family NMDs have been included in this list because they're goddamn near impossible. The other shoe, even though I passed on the fire starters for like 1400 a year and a half ago, like an idiot now. Now it seems idiotic, but. The other, the third pair on this, one of my favorite PK NMDs is the golden yellow PK NMD camo. This is one of the first camos we got. We have the uh, glitch camo, which is, well, that's actually also on the list. Uh, so yeah, you have the glitch camo as well. These both came out around the same time. I think this one came out first and then this one, but these are both super, super sick. A lot of people have gotten other colorways and removed the stripes to make them look like this. But in general, the stripeless PK NMDs are my favorite out of the factory. I love, not because of the lack of stripes, they just tend to be the ones I like. Which, OG. And the reason the OG NMD didn't make this list is because a lot of people got it. It would have been highly sought after a year ago, but once they did the restock, people pretty much don't even care anymore, which is kind of amazing. Further down the road into the glitch pack, they released four colorways on the same day. There was the shrimp, as they call it, or the pink. There was um, a white colorway, and there's an olive green colorway, and then there was the rarest pair, or the harder pair to get of the pack, I do believe there are less pairs made of this one, if I remember, or less stock. And that was the blue camo. So blue camo is one that the resale just shot way, way up. These are harder to find. Big size is really hard to find. Blue camo NMD. So that's number four. Uh, number five, I guess, is technically friends and family. That's why I added the sixth. But it's not really friends and family because they did a release, sort of. Uh, and that is the pitch black NMD. This, I got these resale, I paid like 1500 bucks for them. Um, I did not get the case. There's a few cases floating around. I can't remember if JC bought, oh no, the guy from Crep bought the case. Yeah, the Pitch Black NMD is super, super desired. A lot of people really want it. But I do feel like the desire may have lowered after the Japan NMD. Japan NMD. Doesn't make this one quite as sought after, but still. And then, Sixth, whatever, if we're not counting the last one, whatever number you want to call it. Uh, one of my favorite NMDs to date, which is, which the resale dropped dramatically on, I think, I haven't checked in a while, and these are super dirty, but is the SNS Datamosh Gucci colorway of the PK NMD. I love this shoe. That's what happens when I get a follower on Twitch. Yeah, I absolutely love this shoe. I've beat these to death. I've worn these probably honestly more than any other PK NMD that I have. And they're super sick. I have another pair of fresh ready to go in the back. So almost forgot. I totally almost just forgot. Another very highly sought after pair, which may change here in the near future because there's supposed to be a release of a 2.0 version of this with some slight changes. Who knows if the changes are enough to make the difference. But that is the Red Apple NYC NMD that they released for the new Adidas Original Store in New York. Limited to 200 pairs, numbered on the inside. You see the numbers? Ooh, light. 200, you see the two. 190 in there. So yeah, these are highly sought after. These also came with a bag. Technically, I don't know, some people don't, some people aren't. They gave away a bag at the store with it. Uh, 3M bag, I have it around here somewhere. These are those. See about the release, who knows what's gonna happen with these, but as of right now, a lot of people are still looking for this one and resale is through the roof, for sure. Yep, that's my list for NMDs. Keeping up the list this week. I don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow might be a search through my house and find shit to get rid of day. And I'm getting ready for the weekend, headed to Toronto. We're dropping You Are Your Enemy as well. The drop will probably be Saturday during SneakerCon. And then um, a lot of people are hitting me up about sneaker con merch. It'll most likely get an online drop. We just have to wait and see what happens after sneaker con. I'll let you know. But uh, if those shirts hit online, you'll be the first to know. So, all right, I'm going to get out of here. See you guys on Twitch later.